Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. In this tutorial you will learn how to use the mask tools in Twisted Brush. With the masking tools you protect areas of your illustrations or photos from being altered. Twisted Brush Pro Studio has five different masking tools. These are, the rectangle mask, the ellipse mask, the polygon mask, the lasso mask, and the magic wand mask tools. All of those have a common set of control options. The level slider controls the strength of the mask from 0, no mask, to 100, full mask. A non-full mask will permit slight changes over the masked area, depending on the set value. This drop-down menu allows you to choose from three ways to combine new mask areas with the mask that is already present. When the replace mode is used to add a new mask with a different strength than the present mask, the overlapped area will have the strength of the new mask. Now, let's select the add mode and draw a rectangular mask with 50% strength, overlapping our second 100% mask. The strength of the overlapped area will remain 100%. To clear a mask, select the clear mask option in the mask menu. If we draw two 50% overlapping masks, in the area where they overlap, they will combine to create a 100% strength mask area. Now let's create a mask covering the entire image. Select the subtract mode. A new mask at 100% strength completely removes the mask in the selected area. A mask set at 50% strength will remove the mask only at 50%. Let's draw a third mask overlapping the first two. Subtracting from a full non-masked areas results in no change. The area where the two 50% strength masks overlapped results in the mask being completely removed. The invert option can require some abstract thinking to use. This feature exists for those building complex masks. It can be used with any mode, replace, add or subtract. Let's try the invert option. Select the add mode and check the invert box. Now let's draw two masks at 50% strength. As you can see, the mask is automatically inverted. A 100% strength mask is applied over the entire canvas. The mask in the two rectangles is 50%. And at the area where they are overlapping, the mask is completely removed. If we create a mask with 100% strength, then the area which we draw will be cleared and the mask will be set on the rest of the canvas. Now, Let's have a look at the different mask tools included in Twisted Brush Pro Studio. The Rectangle Mask tool allows you to create rectangular and square masks. To create a square mask, press and hold the Shift key while drawing. With the Ellipse Mask tool you can create elliptical masks. Press and hold the Shift key while drawing to create a circle mask. The Polygon Mask tool allows you to draw masks in arbitrary shapes defined by a polygon. To create a polygon mask, define each segment of your polygon with a click and drag. Click the Done button to complete the polygon. The Lasso Mask tool allows you to draw masks with freehand shapes defined by a drawn outline. To use the lasso mask click and draw the shape of the mask. When you stop drawing the end point will be connected to the start point. The magic wand mask tool allows you to mask areas based on color, hue, luminance, etc. from the initial source point or click point. The usage of the Magic Wand Mask tool is very similar to that of the Paint Bucket tool. The Tolerance slider determines how large of an area will be masked based on similar color or hues. The smaller the tolerance, the closer the colors must match for the mask to continue.
In adjust mode the tolerance slider is adjusted dynamically by clicking and dragging on your canvas. As you drag to the right the tolerance value will increase. To fine tune the tolerance press and hold down the shift key while making adjustments. The level slider is the strength of the mask that will be created. This selection determines if the magic wand mask tool will work in adjustment mode where the tolerance is adjusted as the cursor is moved or if it will work in repeat mode. In repeat mode a new fill of the set type and tolerance will occur each time the cursor position is sampled. There are a number of different modes for the magic wand mask tool. In connected mode, all connected similar colors will be masked. If non-connect is selected, all similar colors in your image will be masked, even if not connected. In alpha connected and alpha non-connected modes, connected or non-connected areas with the matching alpha ranges will be masked. In color range mode, the color ranges that match the initial click point in your image are masked. If the luminance range mode is selected, matching luminance areas will be masked based on the initial click position. In hue range mode, matching hues in the range will be masked based on the starting click position. In the HSL range mode, the masked area will be based on a HSL combination from the initial click position.